iMovie is a registered trademark of Apple. I am in no way affiliated with Apple. Okay, in this clip we're going to talk about exporting your finished project. Once you're happy with your movie, you're going to want to share it. Up here in your pull-down menus at the top, there's Share, and there's a number of different selections. The first one is iTunes. Let's take a look at that. This allows you to select different sizes for your exported movie. Tiny, mobile, medium, and large. You can actually publish all four of these videos at the same time by hitting Publish. And these little dots indicate which sizes are best for which use you'd like. For example, iPod, iPhone, Apple TV, or a computer. Now, once you publish this, it'll go directly into your Movies folder in your iTunes. Let's cancel this and look at a couple of the other options. The next one is Media Browser. Again, you have the same sizes as before, but now when you hit Publish, the, the finished movie will appear in the Media Browser of other applications such as iDVD and iWeb. So if you're going to use it in one of those applications, this is a good selection. Let's hit Cancel. You can also publish directly to YouTube. Make sure you're connected to the internet and you can put your account number in. You only have two size options now, either mobile or medium. And that's fairly self-explanatory. Let's hit cancel. The one that I use most often is the basic export movie. And it can also be accessed by hitting Command E on your keyboard. Now what this will do for you, again, you can choose the size of the movie and you can only publish, in this case, you can only publish one at a time, or export one at a time. I usually use the large setting, and what this will do is it allows you to export a movie, a QuickTime movie, to a location on your hard drive, such as your Movies folder. Now, once you export that large movie, you can still use it in iDVD, um, you can play it directly from your hard drive, and you can actually using QuickTime you can re-export it to a smaller size if you want to use it in, for an iPod or an iPhone later. So this to me tends to be the best option and I usually always choose the largest setting as possible. Of course that'll be the, a bigger file size but it'll give you the best quality and it'll give you the most options in the future um, when you decide to use it in another program or when you decide to actually re-export it at a smaller size. Once you hit export You'll have your export movie, and depending on the size of the video, that could take a relatively short time or a long time. And that's basically how you export your movie once you're finished with it.